Kids and adolescent pregnancies are among challenges, frustrating efforts by the government to reduce new HIV infections by 75% according to National Council of Population and Development. Nairobi County tops the list of teen and adolescent pregnancies. Our reporter Andrin Kilemi delves into the course of teenage pregnancies among children aged between 10 and 19, as well as possible solutions to the menace. One in every eight teenage girls in Kenya are either pregnant or have already given birth. This is according to a report released by the National Council for Population and Development, NCPD, between the months of January and October this year. Among the old and married sexually active adolescents, we're saying 59.3 are not using any method of contraception. This is evident at Maria's home, not her real name, a mother of a 16-year-old girl who is now seven months pregnant. Wakati alikuja katulia ni wakati alijua ako mjamzito na bimi bado siku anajua. Ndo nika muongelesha ili arakati ya kuingia kwa bagi yake. Nika pata kit yu ya kupima uja uzito. So wakati nilipata hiyo kit nilimuuliza hii ni anani. Hapo ndia lili ya kanyambia mamu ni yangu. Si kuchukua tuwa yote kumpiga. Kile nilifanya ni kukachini. Nikajila umu sana. Juu, niliona ni kama sometimes sina time yake kulingana na kazi. Maria has attributed the COVID-19 pandemic and the indefinite closure of schools for her daughter's unruly behavior. So wakati corona iliingia, alikuja haka change. Hakakuwa neza toka asubui, hanarudi usiku, ukimuuliza, kujibu. So hiyo time pia nilikuwa busy. Juhu nilikuwa na kazi kando na nyumba, nikuwa nifungwa biyashara. O wakati ilizidi mi niliona ni kama akona kichwa ngumu. But alichenchi ile ya kunishangaza siku expect. Zawadi, Maria's firstborn daughter, also not her real name, was lured to join a group of teenagers by the name Gaza with whom they engaged in unruly behaviors. Wakati nilifuatilia nikapata meungana na vijana wa ingine. Wanajita kitu kama Gaza. Oh, wakati nilianza kumuongelesha, kakua sasa kuhae, anavuta bangi. Hakuna kitu inyaneza muongelesha afanyi. Ukimuacha hata oshe vyombo, kichwe kigonga tu hivyo. Utapata ayuko kwa nyumba. Then anamaliza two to three days. Tena anakuja ama one week. Anarudisho na mama yangu. So nilizidi kumweleze aende shule. Kafika mali ya tupatani mimi na e. Wakati mmoja alikuja akapotea. Kambia marafiki zake wasieleze mali niko. It is through the frequent engagements with her friends that Zawadi began using drugs. She recounts how she fell pregnant on the day she had gone out on a drinking spree with her friends at a party. So, kinyilape nilikuwa kwa yudi. Yudi nilikunya pombe. Sa kunya pombe nikanza kuntudiswa sa kwa drugs. But bangi sikuwa ikatumia vile. Pombe ndelukwa na kunya sana. Nikarudu kwanza kulala inje. Badu siju badu nikuwa na mimba badu. Nikalala inje, nikalala inje. Sasa siku moja, nimeka haka, nikasema, ay, period zangu zimemis. Sasa ni adinele, ni jipi imejusi, juu imemis na wiki moja. Sasa nimeenda kupima, nikawana, ay, ya kwanza nikapata, kona mimba. Nikasema chanyine, nikaunda check, nchuku ingine, nijarivu. Ya pili nikapata. Sasa kwanza, vili lipima, nikapata, nikanyamazia, moja nilutupa kwa chua. Iyo ingine, nikasawu nikeka kwa bagi yangu. A report released on the 8th of November this year indicates that sexual violence, forced marriages, poverty, inadequate reproductive health information, and lack of parental guidance are among the major drivers of increased teenage and adolescent pregnancies in the country. Nikiwange upande wangu kile kimechangia. Kukua busy tena sana. Kukosa kuelewa mtoto. Kila wakati huko busy na kukosa kuweka mtoto chini kuongea na ye. Ndiyo uneza ongea na ye mara moja. But, ningekua naongea na ye continuous. Ainge fanyika. That time ilikuwa mam alikuwa busy sana. Daddy pia alikuwa busy. So, na nimi ndo nimusichana piki yetu kwetu. So, hakuna mtu mungine ya zakenda kuongelesha. Antisi zangu wa kumbali tena. Sizi kachoma fea nyende muongeleshi huko. 
In just one year, approximately 3,531 cases of teenage pregnancies of girls aged between 10 to 19 years were reported. Statistics indicating that the number is of teenage girls who had reported to various health facilities seeking help, raising questions of how many more teenage girls are pregnant but choose to remain silent. We are facing or we are having what we call now a demographic dividend period where we are having youth bulge. And majority of these youth bulge are the girls that we have today. So if many majority of them are getting pregnant, then we are losing high potential of our youth. Although the government has put in place measures aimed at reducing HIV infections in the country, teenage and adolescent pregnancies have been termed as major challenges frustrating Kenya's effort to reduce new HIV infection rates by 75%. Today we have the older generation of people living with HIV, our largest cohort, 55 years old and above. Now when we have put them on treatment, they are going on with their lives. What are we doing? We start every year having 6,000 new infections among children, and then we start having children also getting infected through sex. So it means as a country, the dream of ending AIDS in Kenya will never become a reality. The only way to become a reality is we have to end AIDS and HIV infections among young people and adolescents and children. And as the world marks World AIDS Day, parents have been urged to have in-depth conversations with their children so as to ensure girls remain girls and not teenage mothers. Andrin Akilemi, TV47, Nairobi. Now, Kenya today joined the world in marketing.